The Huawei Nova 5T was recently launched in Malaysia and this smartphone comes with a flagship class processor with a quad camera setup. So why is this smartphone so interesting? It's because of its price. So the Huawei Nova 5T here has a starting price of 1,599 ringgit and it comes with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of onboard storage. So without further ado, since we have the smartphone here with us, so let's check out what's inside the box. Let's pop this baby up. As usual, you will have your SIM ejector tool. Then inside, it's a case. It's a transparent jelly case. The one you will expect from every other phone. And then we have the Huawei Nova 5T here. Ta -da! Okay, let me put this aside. Then there is this. Okay, so we have a USB-C cable. Then, oh, we have earphones. Oh, but sadly, it's a USB-C earphones. So this smartphone will not come with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Then we have the Huawei Supercharge adapter, which supports 22.5 watt. Ta -da. So, this is what you will get out from the box. As usual, let me put everything aside because it's super messy. Okay, so the no this is the Huawei Nova 5T. The one I have with me is called the Midsummer Purple. And this model is a little bit different from others. So, unlike the black variant and the crushed blue variant, this smartphone here gets a really interesting back. At first glance, you will think that, hey, this is just a normal purple reflective kind of back on this smartphone. But if you look closely, there's actually a bunch of Nova text across the whole smartphone. Can you see that? Which I am not a fan of. And if you think this smartphone is familiar, that is because the camera layout is exactly the same as the Honor 20. In fact, the specs are the same as well. It also gets a 48 megapixel main camera, a 60 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, a 2 megapixel depth sensor, as well as a 2 megapixel macro camera. So the macro camera is right over here. So this is for you to take pictures up close. As a matter of fact, the Huawei Nova 5T shares a lot of similarities with the Honor 20. So at the front, it still retains the 6.26 inch Full HD Plus LCD display. And here, you also get your 32 megapixel selfie camera that sits right in the punch hole over here. It also has a very capable Kirin 980 processor. Besides that, it also has a 3750mAh battery and like I mentioned before, it also supports 22.5W fast charging via USB-C. And it also has a side-mounted fingerprint scanner that unlocks your smartphone super quick. So here, you will get your SIM slot and I'm very curious what's inside, so let's check it out. So we have our SIM ejector tool here. And let's pop this open. Oh, okay. So you can actually add two nano SIMs. There's no slot for you to expand further with a micro SD card. But at the exact same price of 1,599 ringgit, you can also pick up another smartphone called the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro. But the only downside of this device is that it only gets six gigs of RAM. But the Mi 9T Pro actually has its own advantages. Okay, so for example, the first one is that the Mi 9T Pro comes with a 3.5mm headphone jack. So that means if you want to play games, you can just hook up your uh, regular headphones and you are good to go. Besides that, the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro also comes with a Snapdragon 855 processor and it doesn't come with any notches or punch hole. But what do you guys think? Which one will you pick? You will pick the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro or the Huawei Nova 5T? Let me know in the comments below. So that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also hit the notification bell icon so you won't miss any of our new videos. And remember to check out our latest video here and also another video here. Okay, that's it from me and I'll see you in the next one.